Hi, Green Hills family. This is David Crake. I'm one of your elders, and it's a privilege for me and an honor to be able to prayerfully guide you through this election season. As the body of Christ, I want to remind you that we are to be salt and light. And Jesus told us about this in Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16, during the Sermon on the Mount. I want to read it for you. It says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Brothers and sisters, we need to remember that as followers of Christ, we are called to be countercultural. There's so much in even Christian world that says we need to be relevant. And while it's important that we need to bring the reality of the gospel to bear on people's lives right where they are, we want to make sure that we don't seek to look so much like the world that they can't taste the salt in us anymore, that they can't see the light in us anymore. If the world is tasteless and if the world is dark, then it is up to us as God's body here on earth to be full of flavor, to be full of light. As you go through this election season, I want you to remember that you have an opportunity when so many of the people around you are gonna be filled with a sense of, of fear, a sense of um, maybe ambition that is driving them to do things that aren't in consideration of their fellow neighbors, we have a chance to be different by extending arms of grace and by being people of peace, we can show ourselves to be that refreshing and preserving and savory salt and the light that illumines the true hope of this world. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much that you've called us to be salt and light because your son, Jesus Christ, showed us what that meant. He came into a culture and did not seek to conform himself to the culture, but to be a soothing balm to the culture, to give light to that place, to be salt and flavor and preservation and a value to that place. God, help us to see that each one of us in our homes, in our neighborhoods, at our workplaces, on our social media accounts, God, we have an opportunity to either be part of the tasteless and dark world around us or to be the salt and light you've called us to be. I pray that with everything we have, every minute, every dollar, every relationship, may we use it to be those things to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen.